Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Trailmakers. Today we have another challenge to do, and also, Trailmakers had a little bit of an update. Uh, the pitch something update. So they added a couple new blocks. The tone generator, which as you would expect, it just makes noise. You can set what noise it makes, what pitch it makes, and what button to push it on, duration, delay, all sorts of fun stuff. But also, what I'm more excited about is they updated ballistics. So basically, remember my Gatling gun that I made a long time ago? And how when I turned it on, it would spin, and then the bullets would fly in all sorts of weird directions. Well, they fixed that. So now the Gatling gun would actually work as intended, but I can't show it because apparently my Gatling gun wasn't saved, which is unfortunate. Wah wah. Basically, all that happens, though, is the bullets shoot in a straight direction. They don't have... They don't carry their momentum, uh, basically. I think that is uh, much better. I was very confused when I first turned that Gatling gun on. It was a, it was a sight. Uh, but anyways, that's not why we're here today. One of my viewers suggested that I build a UFO with a tractor beam. And I was thinking... That sounds really, really fun. So you know what we're going to do today? We're going to build ourselves a UFO. So let's first, as you always do, decide what seat to use. I think probably a diving bell would fit the idea. It's nice and centered, and there are points all around it. I think that sounds perfect to me. Okay, so UFOs are usually... A disc shape and we've got these things rounded corners and wedges but they don't exactly uh, make it round they make it rounded hmm well let's just work on connecting these ends together and see what happens from there no wrong button Okay, okay. That's that's the idea. I guess it's kind of roundish. It'll work. It'll work. What if we did this? Maybe if we slide it out. Would that be better? Hmm. Probably not. Probably not. Let's just let's just stick with what we have. It's not very round. But that's because this is a game about blocks. It's like Minecraft. You can't make a round UFO in Minecraft. That would just break the rules. You can't do that. Maybe if we... No, we're gonna leave it. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. So, let's talk about how to drive this thing. Because I haven't actually given it that much thought. Huh. I guess we're gonna start with good old gimbal jets. That'll probably make it fly like a UFO. That's what we want, so that's what we're going to try for. Let's set them... Oh, before I do that... Uh, sure, space, that'll do. Space to go up, whatever. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we've got our gimbals. That always fire down. Now we need our method of going forward. That should be pretty simple. I think I've got an idea. So what we'll do is we'll have these over here. And we'll have them set to W. W. And then we'll also take a couple of them like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn them this way so that they push the thing a little bit forward. I'm not quite getting the desired outcome. Uh, hmm. You know what the problem is? These gimbal jets aren't exactly what we need. That's the problem. Okay, I think I see it now. We need jets that actually push in the direction they are facing. So maybe instead... We go for these. Ugh. They might seem a little bit overkill. Whatever. We'll give it a shot. 
We haven't used the dragons in a while because I just love me some gimbals. So we'll try these. Okay. I mean, yeah, we're, we're flying. We're going places. Things are getting done. All right, all right. Good start, good start. Now what I want to do is copy this onto every side with a corresponding key bind for them. Okay, so you're going to be turned this way. And then a couple here. No, wait, no, 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 no. Let's configure it first. So this one's going to be S, because it's going to be going backwards. And then we turn you. Okay, yep, yep, yep. All right, so that's forward, backward, left. Okay, so we need to turn left now. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Let's find out. Ah. See, now the problem is, it's too heavy. So we can fix that problem. We can fix it. This is probably going to make this thing absolutely sore. But, we're going to be adding more weight to it anyway. So it should be alright. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we've got forward, back, left, and right. Nice, nice. Okay. We've got full control over the directions. We can steer this thing easy peasy. Now, I just want to see what happens when I flip over. Okay, so it is recoverable if... If I uh, react fast enough. Can I please get out of the water? Thank you very much. Okay, good, 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 good. This is a good start for a uh, flying saucer, I would say. Now let's make it look a little bit better. You know what, actually? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We always need a backup system. So I'm going to make a, uh, make a call here. And I'm going to I'm going to say that we have some gimbals here and we're going to set them to shift and they're just going to turn on. I want them to be toggle. So we're just going to have them there and it's just going to be overall balance, all right? Basically a backup system. So they're on. The main thrusters go. Those things will keep it from like basically ah well, I guess it's not really doing what I was expecting it to do. <laughs> but whatever, they're there. And uh, yes, they keep it from completely destroying itself. It might even be better if we have a few more because then it would actually float. But that's also going to be changed when we add more stuff. But for now, let's add a few more and we'll fine-tune later okay now let's work on the roof I think we're done under here uh, I mean on top of this so let's work on making it look a little better okay so I'm kind of I'm kind of going for like a, a half exposed look to it kind of cool I think so yeah now we need a tractor beam on this guy so the idea was to use magnets and I think that's a fantastic idea. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to slap some magnets on this. Okay, let's see how she flies. A little wobbly. <laughs> Alright. Gimbals are on. Main thrusters go. We are up and about. Ah, I see a problem. Well, I mean, I guess we can go down by turning off the gimbals. That's, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's try and pick something up then. You know what? I've made a mistake. We need to put these on the top. Okay, I get it now. I get it. So it's always pulling the machine back into the right position. Okay. Yes, that's what I was doing wrong. Be be bear with me, okay? Okay, now we've got gimbals on the top, so that should always push it back home. 
even if it flips over. Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. A little, a little bit... Eh. Uh. Okay, which way's forward? That way? Okay, great. Um... Maybe these gimbals are a little bit too much. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna try and pick up a barrel. We're going for it. We're going for a barrel. Alright, tractor beam engaged. Target locked. Here we go, boys. We're coming home. And... Uh, and... Whoopsie. No, 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 no. I'm getting all mixed up. Ah! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Recover. Recover. Woo! We lost one of the targets. Okay. It's alright. We can do this. Alright. Oh, okay, okay. I keep getting confused. It's not exactly intuitive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I broke my magnet, the one important part. <laughs> okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! We had it! <laughs> but it, it bounced us in the air instead. Uh-oh. We're gonna lose target too. Uh, abort! <laughs> This is, uh, this is complicated. Okay, okay. And... Grab! <gasps> we did it! Alright, and then, woo! We've abducted the barrel! Yes! Yes, it works! It's a helicopter thing. Not helicopter, a UFO with a tractor beam. Now we can abduct all the, uh, things. Alright. Awesome. I think that's pretty cool. Well, I forgot who, uh, suggested this, but whoever it was, thanks for that great idea. And I hope this was satisfactory to you. And, uh, that was really fun. I also have another challenge build in the works, one from Digby again, and he always comes up with really cool ones. So he basically wanted me to recreate a jump from this movie. Now, I will admit, I haven't watched that movie. I'm not a huge movie person, so I don't really watch many movies. I don't watch much TV or anything, really. I'm just not that kind of a guy. That's not my cup of tea. But he wants me to recreate a very famous jump from a famous movie. And he wanted me to do it in the survival mode map. Now, that sounds like it could work. But also, in the update that we talked about before this video really got going we uh we had some more information on modding and they said that they're creating a track maker mod and i'm not quite sure how to access it but if i could then i could make myself a map to do this jump and that would be pretty cool so i'm gonna try to figure out how to do that i hope you guys enjoyed watching this trail makers challenge build if you did leave a like and if you haven't already and you would like to you can subscribe to see more trail makers and all the other things i post right here on this channel and as always guys in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night